In this video, we're going to go over an extremely important technique for composition to make your photos better. It's called Focus and Recompose. To do Focus and Recompose, you need to be in one of the creative modes, so either Manual, Aperture Priority, Shutter Priority, or Program Mode. If you're in one of the presets, you may or may not be able to do this technique. Once you have it in one of those preset modes, you're going to go ahead and next be sure that you've selected a single focus point. When you first get your camera, it's usually set so that it does an automatic focus point, meaning it's going to pick the whichever focus point is focusing on an object that's closest to you. We don't want that. We want to be able to select where we want our focus in our image. So to do that, we want to make sure that we are on a single focus point, not an automatic selection. And we want it for this part of the exercise, right center, just right in the middle there. So when people tend to take a picture, usually most of the time, what they naturally would do is they'd bring the camera up to their eye, press down the button halfway to take the shot, and then just take the picture. And that ends up having their subject being dead center. Unfortunately, dead center is pretty dead boring. What we actually want to do most of the time, unless there's some amazing symmetry that's going on, compositionally is go and work with the rule of thirds, which means that our image is going to seem a lot more dynamic and interesting if we have our subjects off-center along the third lines. To do that, though, we don't want to be busy having to spend time each time going and selecting different focus points to put our subject in different spots there. Instead, we want to do a really fast and wonderful technique that is focus and recompose. To show you just briefly how quickly this can be done, I'm focusing and I'm taking the shot. Focus, recompose, take the shot. Very quick and easy. So here's how we do it and here's how we'll practice. First, just bring the camera up and go ahead and take a picture of someone the way you normally would. You probably will find that you're putting the center point right on their nose. The problem with that is the, the nose is usually one of our least favorite parts of our face. And it's also the frontmost part of our face. That is, unless you're Jay Leno, then it's probably your chin. But in any case, it's most likely your nose there. And then that means that your eyes will be ever so slightly out of focus. And as cheesy as it sounds of saying the eyes are the window to the soul, it's also how our brain is able to look at a picture and decide whether it's in focus or not. So what's really important is that the eyes are in focus. So now bring your camera up and focus on one of the eyes. Now you may ask yourself, but which eye? Okay, well, if your camera is uh, sitting there facing with your subject and your subject has their face turned three quarters like this, which usually is more flattering, you're going to want to focus on whichever eye is closest to the camera. So in this case, it'd be this eye. In this case, it'd be this eye. Now, if they're looking straight forward, it doesn't matter which eye you pick, but you don't want to just focus right between here. You actually want to choose to focus on one eye or the other. But again, it doesn't matter which one. So now let's try it out. How do we do this? We bring it up to our eye piece here and we make sure that we have our arms in good camera holding position. We have them down doing our little T-Rex arms. We're bringing it down to our side so that it's like a little tripod. We're cradling our lens with our left hand and our right hand is only there to function to grasp down our shutter. It has no weight bearing properties with the camera there, okay? So what we do is in this case, now we're going to take our camera and focus right on the eye of our subject. It's okay, right now they're in the center. Take your shot. All right, now though, we don't just wanna have their eye dead center. We wanna be able to have them along those lines of the thirds. So here's how we're able to move them. First, what we do is we bring our camera to there. We focus on the eye closest to the camera. We keep our finger down halfway on that shutter button. And now I'm going to move my camera to whatever position that recomposes my image so that now my subject is where I want them to be in the picture. All right. What I am not doing is, you'll notice with my body, I am not going like this to do it or like this. Everything is isolated in my wrists right there so that I'm not adding too much motion 
and possibly moving us out of our focal plane back and forth. All right, so now we're going to do our practice exercise with it. We'll bring it on up, focus on their eye, move it all the way to the, so that their subject is far right in the frame. Take your shot. Take another shot. Move your subject all the way to the left in your frame. Take a shot. Focus on their eye. Move it so they're all the way at the bottom. And focus on their eye so they're all the way at the top. If you go back and review your images and you see that your subject is not in focus and the background is, here's why. You're probably focusing first, moving your camera, picking your finger back up, and then focusing again. And then you're going to hear a second beep as you take your shot. That meant that you didn't successfully, unfortunately, do this technique. You need to make sure that you're only doing it so you're getting one single focus there. To help you out with this, you'll notice your camera can have the confirmation beep that goes on there. Later, once you get more experienced, I do suggest turning this beep off because nothing ruins a candid shot like hearing somebody have a focus beep there and then somebody turns and goes, what? What? Like that. We don't want that. But for when you're first learning, having that focus confirmation beep is really helpful to make sure that you're just getting that single beep and then a, a, as you go ahead and take your shot, no further beep. Okay, if you go and then review your shots again and you see that that background is in focus and they are not, uh, your subject is not, you need to go back and practice this a few more times there. And what I suggest is just first practicing by bringing it up and just get used to holding it down halfway, delaying a second, and then take the shot. Once you get more comfortable with that feeling with the shutter and your finger, then you'll be able to start to do the focus and recompose element.